All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we are going to learn how to analyze Western blot images or Western blots using the densitometric analysis. And we're going to use image for the analysis. So in order to do that, I have got two blots. One is cap DH and the other one is another protein uh, that we're going to measure compared to cap DH because cap DH is our control. And we need image for this. So I've already launched image and there's the toolbar. So I'm going to open up my blot inside image by dragging the blot onto the image toolbar. This opens this up. Now, uh, just ignore the left blot. Um, we're gonna because it is very overexposed. We're gonna uh, we're gonna work with the right one. So, in order to separate that out, I'm gonna crop this. To do that, I'm gonna take the rectangle tool, and I'm gonna create a selection around the lanes of the blot. And once that is done, I'm gonna go to image. Over here and I'm gonna hit crop the shortcut for this is command shift and X and once we have the isolated plot I'm gonna increase the size a little by um, hitting command plus on my keyboard that's there now we have to analyze the individual lanes that are there so in order to do that just Take your rectangle tool, which is already selected in my case, and draw a rectangle around the blot, around the first lane, the blot in the first lane. So once you do that, and make sure that the whole blot is inside the rectangle, it should not you know, spill over outside the rectangle. Once you do that, you go to Analyze, and there's an option called Gels. Inside that, you have the first option, which is select first lane. The shortcut for this is command one. So that creates a small one over here in the first lane. And this, this tells uh, image that this is the first lane. So you can, you know, you can, uh, you can analyze the rest based on the first lane. Now, we're going to duplicate this um, rectangle just by dragging it onto the next one and we're going to hit command 2. There's going to be a second lane, the same thing for the third one, command 2. So there's going to be a third lane. Once that is done, again go back to analyze, go back to gels and you have something called plot lanes, the shortcut for which is command 3. And you have these peaks appearing corresponding to the lanes or the blots that you have. You can see the second one, the peak is very high because the blot over here is very intense. And the first and the third one, they are shorter than the second one because those are lighter in intensity. Next, what you need to do is you need to analyze the area under the curve or the area under the peak for calculating the uh, intensity or the density. So to do that, take the line tool and just draw a line depicting the closed area which you want to calculate. Do this for all of them. That's for the third one. And once you're done with that, just go to the major toolbar once again. You have the one tool over here, select that, come back and you click somewhere inside the inside the peak or somewhere somewhere in the area that you want to be calculated so let me click here and it's going to give me uh, a value the area second and the third one so this directly we can plot so i'm going to select this and go back here Open up, open up the Excel file, and over here I'm gonna just paste this value. Okay, I'm gonna save this, close this up, go back to image, and once this is done, I'm gonna close this. Say don't save. Say don't save. 
close this as well and this too now it's time for the second one the gap dh again i'm going to drag and drop it over here again don't worry about the left one we're going to work with the right one so the first step is cropping the portion that we want we crop out this portion increase the top and the bottom a little bit and command shift x it gets cropped increase the size a little bit now again take the rectangle tool draw a rectangle surrounding the blot command 1 to select the lane drag it over to the next lane make sure it is not spilled onto the next onto the third lane and hit command 2 same thing you do with third lane and command 2 so lanes are decided now command 3 for analysis or plotting the lanes so again you have three peaks take the line tool come back to the peaks and you can just join the bottoms to denote the closed area which you want to be analyzed get the one tool come back and plot them okay copy them open up your analysis file and you can paste them over here so quickly I'm going to rename this this one would be control this would be test one this would be test two sample one sample two whatever your samples are and this is going to be my protein x and this is going to be get the edge so the first thing that i want to do is to normalize the proteins i mean to normalize the values with the control values same thing for gap dh as well so to do that i'm going to say equals this divided by this because this is the control and automatically it becomes one one neat trick that you can do is you can since we are going to be dividing the second third with the first one so i'm gonna lock this cell and to do that i'm gonna hit a little dollar sign with b2 so that it locks it and that gives you one because this divided by this is one and once you hover over to the corner and you pull it you can see the cell is locked for both of them only this is changing so we have the values for this one for the protein next we want the values for cap th we're going to do the same thing equals to this divided by this and again then dollar sign we hit enter gives you one just drag it down and it gives you the rest uh, i'm going to delete this because it's just the numbering of the cells and next what i want to do is i want to calculate the fold of increase or decrease of the protein x to that of uh, to that of gap th i'm going to normalize it with the first one so Automatically, when I do that, I'm going to give a heading called relative normalized density. So, I'm going to hit, and remember, you need to do the protein divided by gap dh or retactin, whatever you have. Don't do the other way around because that's not correct. So, equals to this divided by this. And this time do not put the dollar sign because we want separately to divide this with this and this with this. So you hit enter and drag it down. You have the rest of the rest of the things. Now a quick way to plot this is to select them, go to insert and just draw a bar plot. And this is how it will look. The second one has a 
higher intensity because the verbal expression is more in the treatment. And the third and the first one, the third is a little bit more than the first one, but yeah, it's almost comparable. So this is one, this is just one blot that we did. So for protein X, ideally we should be doing three blots. For gap DH, we should be doing three blots. You'll get three relative normalized intensities for control test one and test two. And then we can do some statistical analysis and inferences based on that. Um, we can calculate the p-value and all that statistical test, we do all that stuff. But essentially, everything is going to be same, just you have to repeat it uh, two more times with the other blots, with, with the other blots of the same proteins. And once you get them, we can plot it directly over here. So yes, that's how you analyze a Western blot, uh, Western blot image and, you know, get the numeric values out of it so that you can plot a graph and you can put it into your manuscripts. That's all about today and I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.